Oh, God, no wonder. Jeez. <laughs> How about right now? Is that better? Oh, that is so much better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was using this mic that was like a mile away on a wall. <laughs> Just like I did. I called this show the other day, and they were like, I, we, oh, when I heard it later, I was so ashamed. But, yeah, the that should be a lot better. Okay. It is. All I right. can hear you now. So Thank are you, you. Are you the, uh, you're the girlfriend, his girlfriend? I am the mother, the mother of the girlfriend. No, oh, the mother of the girlfriend. So, oh, okay. Yes. My daughter has been dating him over a year. Okay. And what, what, and, what do you know about um, They the... went to high school together. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> they went to Klein High School together. Um, he was a couple of years senior to her. They were both in the band. Um, they knew a lot of the same people. Um, he's an accountant that works for Valoric Oil and Gas. Mm -hmm. And where okay. where was that located? Um, it's located downtown Houston off of um, San, San Felipe and Voss Road. Somewhere down there. Valoric Oil and Gas. How do you spell that? V E L L O R E C. Oh, E C. Mm -hmm. Valoric. Oil and gas. Okay. And it's the main headquarters is in France. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I see a couple different. And so it was really yeah. odd for him to be at this place? Um. No, it wasn't because it was right near his ha home. Um, but what's weird is, is there's a Capital One bank that is closer to his home than where he was last videotaped. So is it the one that's on Sam Houston Parkway, that Valoric? Yes. Okay, and it's kind of like a rectangular, like nine or ten story tall building. Yes. Okay. I just want to put that on there. So you're saying that there's another bank right here as well. Yes. I, I, I map everything out because it helps a lot. So I've got to right. put that in there. Mapping is awesome. Um, and we have come up with a timeline. Okay. Okay. Um, we have come up with there's a five minute um, interval where my daughter he's texting my daughter and where the bank or i'm sorry where kroger's across the street from the bank mm -hmm. has videotape of him pulling into the bank parking lot and that must be really from a distance because it's not like it's right there i mean it's about hundreds of yards like let, let me measure it really quick yeah. it's uh it, yeah and there's probably four lanes across that highway uh -huh. Right. I mean, it's not a highway, but it's a street. It's a main street in Houston. Like, I mean, we have streets that are like highways here. <laughs> yeah, it's like 160 yards away. But so they can see his car pulling in off of which road, you know? Off of Voss. So off of Voss, he pulls in. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So we, you see him pulling in right here. And then he goes in between whatever that other... Uh, the fuel center and the Capital One, yeah. right? And the problem with the Kroger video is they cannot see from their point of view with their cameras at the ATM machine. So my daughter literally found his phone on the side of the ATM machine at about 6.30 p.m. I thought that on was... On Thursday night. Okay. So, the, so the, she's the one that found it. Let me ask you yeah. something really quick. So is it the lady that was on some of these interviews that we see on TV? Is, is, who is that now? I'm kind of confused. That's his mother. Because I thought she said she found the phone. Like it led right to the phone. No. No, she did not find the phone. Oh. My daughter actually pinged his phone because she could not contact him. Mm -hmm. And... He wouldn't respond, and so they went to where the the phone pinged, which was at the Capital One Bank on Voss Road, and they found his phone in the bushes, okay, yeah. like 
on the side of the ATM. Okay, are you talking about the, they're not really, like, you know there's a really thick bush row that's sort of like behind the ATM? It's not that, right? It's the one on the side of the building with the windows? Is that I right? I think it is. Because it wasn't directly in front of the ATM. Mm. It was like beh- like a, a car links behind the ATM. Uh, the ATM machine was actually on the wall. So uh, on the wall of the building. Yeah, I see it. I can see it on the yeah. screen. And there's a teller window like right there. And so if anyone was sitting in the teller window, they could have seen everything. Yeah, so there's a teller window, and then the phone, was it around to the right, around the corner? Yes. It was before the teller window, like in the bushes, right there on the side. Okay, there's like a little bit of gravel, and not, they're not like when you say bushes, it's not these really high, overgrown bushes. There's no. just some weed, and almost like weeds. it was actually weeds. placed <laughs> there. It wasn't thrown, because right. the phone was perfectly intact. So that's a little bit weird then, right? I mean, when you, well, you could still toss it and it wouldn't break, you know? Like you can just kind of fling it into, depending how it hit, it might not break, right? You could fling it, but it was literally like placed there. Like somebody just Hmm. didn't throw it, but placed it there. Well, that would be good news to me because placing it there is odd for a kidnapper or an abductor to do. Exactly. Yeah. But what we what we're thinking is before we even know, like, we haven't seen the videotape. We don't even know if the cops have the videotape. But it's been like tomorrow will be a week. So we're thinking that since it was placed there, like he was trapped. Like he could not move his car. Like somebody was in front of him and somebody was behind him. So he could not maneuver to get out of that situation. Hmm. And somebody came up and pulled a gun and got in his car or made him get, you know, unlock the doors and get in his car. And they, and the person that was holding the gun at his, his side placed the gun there. No, no, you mean, mean, you mean the phone. phone But why would he place the phone? Right. You see what that's, I'm saying? That's a that's if a you thing. You would throw a phone. Yeah. It, it would crack, right? Yeah, but why would the cat, the abductor care if he cracked his phone? No, I don't think he cared. I think it was just. Well, that's what I mean. Like I, he wouldn't take the time to bend down and place the phone gingerly on the ground. An abductor, right? Exactly. So that's why. So exactly. I don't think. Well, okay, but that's what I'm saying is why would it? Why would an abductor? gingerly place the phone on the ground you see so to me that means it's not an abduction because why would he do that it seems to me like an abductor would just get the guy in the car and throw his phone out so he can't be tracked but right. but but it seems but like I'm this, here to tell yeah. you that this kid would not just yeah leave. I know what you're leading to like this kid lived with me for eight months. I know his routine. Like, I know what this kid does. And he gets up at 6.30, goes to work. Literally. Yeah. Like, does nothing else. Well, I mean, here's He's the thing accountant. is, I'll take your word. For, see, the thing is, is the fact that you're so certain and talk like that, that's what we've got to go more on because yeah. a lot of times you get people that go, yeah, 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 likely you just did this but you're you know him and you feel like there's something really off with this situation right? oh yes yes sir and i thank you for taking my call thank you so much and i know you're you're you have such a good heart and you're out there to help people and this is such a tragedy in our family like uh, we we cannot believe that someone can just disappear like that at a bank like we need to know answers. Yeah, don't they have and cameras all around the bank? I mean, that should just yes, yeah. everywhere. That's in the main area where now, there's would, cameras everywhere. What, now let me ask you this: if it if it did turn out where he just shocks everybody 
And on camera, you see him place, because here, here's the one way you might look at somebody placing the phone gingerly. That would be somebody who wanted it to be, keep working and to keep pinging. And eventually, um, you know, then it, then he's not there anymore. But, you, I mean, that would be the I can't scenario. imagine him doing that. I know, that's the thing. I can't imagine. Yeah. That, that's, that's what I'm saying. Why? i got to rely on what you're saying because you know him. Like my, He literally, like, just, okay, this is the deal. He and my daughter have been dating for about a year and a half. He waited. He's so strategic and such a mathematician and, like, does everything right mm -hmm. that he waited a year before he asked my daughter to move in with him and she, they were elated the night before he went missing they went out to target and bought a christmas tree mm, and yeah, decorated that's... it and sent me pictures of their apartment and how they bought a new rug and how they yeah. doesn't, have decorated. Yeah. So it doesn't sound like somebody that's planning on leaving or anything. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. He was so happy. He's in love with my daughter. And my daughter is in love with him. And I've seen this. He spent Thanksgiving with us. He, he was so happy. Oh, I can't. I just can't wrap my brain around why he is gone. Like, who would take him? Like, he only had, like, a couple of thousand dollars in the bank. Like, why would they take him? Have you been able to figure out how much he's taken out, he took out of the bank? Yes. How much? We have hacked into his account, and there's, like, a thousand dollars that can be t um, taken out at one time. So there's a limit in the bank mm -hmm. that you can only take out a thousand dollars at an ATM. So we're thinking they took him, went to another bank, take, took a thousand, and then at twelve o'clock midnight, they went and took the other. So thousand. you actually see he, the uh, no, you do you see these? Yeah, you know, like you can actually see them, the amounts that were taken out. You can yes, see it. So yes, there was there two yes. two one thousand dollar withdrawals. Is that what you're saying? Yes, and all of his shit oh, was geez. started to bounce. All his shit started to bounce, like all the bills coming in. Wow, that's crazy. And we see that. My daughter actually, like, literally found his passwords and, like, got into his account and, and figured it out. Like, we have a total timeline, and we gave it to the cops, and we told them everything well, that we yeah. know. God, what a nightmare. Can you, uh, how about, you want to go through the timeline then? What you have? Yes, I can send it to you. It's written out on yeah. paper. Okay, if you, if you could, I mean, you can scan it in or whatever, but uh, why don't you send, can I give you my email? Yes, give me your email. Yeah, it's G-R-A-Y, like the color, G-R-A-Y, oh. and then H, uh -huh. like the letter H, and then U-Z-E. So G R A Y. Hang on, let me. I'm sorry. I'm okay. so sorry. Hang on. Well, I can put um, it in the chat too. Make if that's easier. I can. Okay. I can put it in the chat. So. Yes, please do. Okay, so it's G R. A Y. A Y. And then H U Z E. H. Z E, and then the number two at gmail dot com. So G R A Y. H U Z E two at gmail dot com. At gmail. Okay, I got it. So is he? Does he done any? Uh, does he have any mental issues at all that you're aware of? No, no. Yeah. That's a this little bit kid disturbing. Was banned. This kid graduated from Sam Houston with a GPA. He had straight A. He had notes that would tell. Him, you know, he had goals. He would cross out the goals as he, as he would go along. Like, I made straight A's. Okay, scratch that out. I have a new savings account. Scratch that out. Like, this dude was so good. And... Wow. Just, I am beside myself with 
why would somebody take him? Why? Uh, well, how come they're For not... $2,000? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, you know, 2000 A lot of people do stuff for less than that. But uh, is there cameras on... I mean, when are you guys going to get access to the cameras from the bank? I mean, that's just going to tell the story. I don't know. Homicide, homicide, um, HPD has taken over and uh, homicide detectives have taken over uh, because his mother received a call from someone that was offering... um, like they wanted a ransom, like really? for twenty thousand dollars, and it's because oh, she posted a bunch of stuff on Facebook, and they the cops think that you know, like it's a fake call. So yeah, it's probably just somebody know. trying to take advantage of the situation. Yeah, so we're just getting all kinds of different yeah. angles and. We just need to know. We we need to see the footage, and we need to we need to know the transaction, mm-hmm. like which bank was. You know, it's it's weird too because the side of the bank that has where you say the phone was, there's no cameras there. It's crazy. Maybe they have one that's secret. Oh, there are cameras, but but um, they well, had to subpoena. Well, I see a camera at the dip- at the right next to the actual machine. The the withdrawal, it's right here. I can see it. But the side of the building, just around the side where the electrical stuff is and where it says Capital One and there's two windows, it doesn't look like at this time, I mean, this is back in, well, this is February 2020 Street View that I'm looking at. I don't see any cameras. There might be one that's hidden somewhere that I, I can't see, but the, there is one directly there's out by the ATM. Bank. Remember, there's the bank that is next to his job. Yeah. And then there's a bank that is like 15 minutes away down the street. And that's what we can't figure out. Yeah, well, the Kroger's one is... why would he go? Yeah. Yeah. The Kroger's Kroger's bank is the one that we're looking at. That's where he was seen on the camera at this ATM. Uh Do you know where the other ATM was that he took the money out? The second one? Yes. Yes. It's down the street, like 15 minutes away, like at another Capital One, the closest Capital One bank Mm -hmm. that you can find down the street is where he went. Mm. And it is so weird that he would go there instead of the closest one to his job, which is Valoric. And he was, he was on a lunch break and hmm. was like, he went to Mr. Car Wash. Acro- Look for Mr. Car Wash. Okay. Which is across the street from the first Capital One bank that is next to Valoric. His job. Okay. He went to wash his car. Okay. I don't see one right next to the Valoric where he worked. Are you talking about the one? Well, the uh, I want to make sure I got the right Valoric. So can you describe that better? Um, is it the one on West Sam Houston Parkway with a ga- uh Let's see. A car- yeah, well, there is a car wash there. What's the name of it? Mister. This Mr. one says. Car wash. This one said. It does say car wash. Let me just go down the street because it didn't list it for some reason. Is there a Shell station there too, or? Uh, there's a Q, Q gas station right across the street, and that's where we think he went to fill up his tire because it had a nail in it mm-hmm. that he noticed at Mr. Car Wash. Okay, I need, I, here's what we need to do. I need to get this stuff dialed in, so let's make sure we got the right Valoric oil and gas, okay, because it's all over the place. Okay. So yeah. can you try to describe where that is? Okay. Uh, it is it is off of the beltway. Okay, um, beltway. Hmm. Um, is that Sam? Let me what? look it up. I'm okay. sorry. That's all right. I can't really 
tell That's you right. exactly. I want to get all these things but dialed in so we can. It's on Voss Road and San Felipe. Okay, so that's so not where I am. In the city center, it's called city center. It's at like a high end area. Like nobody, like everybody's rich down there. Okay, so like, you said Voss Road and what was that again? San Felipe. Oh, I think I just saw it. All right. Well, that's right next to, I mean, that's right where the uh, the bank is, the Capital One. Exactly. Okay, yeah, I'm yes. looking for where he worked, though, because you were saying that he went to a uh, car wash and another Mr. Capital. Mr. Car Wash. Uh-huh, and where's that one located? Mm -hmm. Across the street? It should be right across the street from his job. Okay, now where like, is that, though, it, where he worked? That's what I'm, I'm looking sorry, for. What? I see. I'm trying to figure out where he worked right now. Okay, Valoric yeah. Oil and Gas. Mm -hmm. And so we already put that in there, but uh, so V E L L O R E C Oil and Gas. And then when I do that, we go up in the air, and there's a bunch of them. There's one uh, to the west of the bank he was at that's um off of del monte drive and city west boulevard is that one that's it uh-huh are you sure yeah okay uh i'm pretty sure i'm not totally sure but yeah <laughs> okay that sounds right city center yeah well it's del monte drive and then a city west boulevard city west yeah. See, there's a whole bunch okay. of them, though. There's like, there's one that's north of the mm -hmm. Capital One. See, and that's the thing. I don't know. I I I just know that he would do like um, Zoom calls in the morning mm -hmm. with his job, and then go in after, you know, like after lunch. So I'm not sure. I'll have to ask like around my people okay but he took a thousand he exactly. took he took a thousand dollars out twice at two different capital ones right yeah and but one was at yes. what time was so this one was at noon when was the second one what time was that between 12 and 3 a.m because at 3 45 a.m mm -hmm. his shit started bouncing but, like, do, but doesn't it have an exact time when you go into the account it doesn't tell you we can't get into his account. No. We can see his emails. Mm. So we can't actually get into his bank account because we don't. We tried to figure it out, but we couldn't. But we got. We actually hacked into his um, email, his Gmail, so okay. we could see like what was being emailed to him, and his shit was being bounced like AT&T, like Xfinity, his cable was being bounced at that point. And we were like, what the fuck? Like, he has money in there. Yeah. You know, he just got paid on Wednesday. So he just got paid on Wednesday, and what day did he do this? On what day of the week? He got kidnapped or whatever yeah. on Thursday. Yeah, whatever happened. So it was Thursday? Yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. so the very next day, hmm. To somebody. And then the very next day, the shit started bouncing, like mm -hmm. everything. At actually three forty-five a.m. Um, on Friday or Friday night, Saturday morning at three forty-five a.m., the it just like we could tell like everything was cleaned out. Wow! Because every. Uh, his emails were like, oh, you don't have enough in this account, you know. Now, they better get on this quickly because there's a lot of kinds of cameras all over the place that could track where he was going, oh, yeah. you know. And they know. They know. And it, and we know. So they're just not telling us exactly what they see. Mm. Um, and I don't want to speculate any more than what I should probably say <laughs> yeah. because there's a lot <laughs> yeah so i i don't know but 
the thing is, is he is such a great kid and I would hate to see anything happen to him. He did nothing wrong. Like he's, he's the least person you would think that would get, you know, Yeah. he has, he's not rich. He's not a millionaire, you know. Why would someone kidnap him? Why not just rob him at the ATM and then, you know, like take his money and then go? You know what I mean? Was there anybody that maybe was interested in your daughter prior to him that might have been jealous of something? Or? Well, I mean, you don't yes, have to say any names. Absolutely. But, yeah. Yes. Both yeah. of them had, you know, prior relationships. But they have been seeing each other for over a year. Yeah. And the thing is, is they, I've, I've personally, because they stay at my house, so I, I know their routine. They would get up in the morning, go to work, come home. I would cook them dinner. They would eat, go to bed, watch a movie, go to bed. Like, and get up and do the same thing every day. Like, on the weekends, maybe they would go downtown and, like, go to a club or something. But it was, it was normal. Everything's normal here. Like, I don't see anyone having a vendetta against him at all. Like, at all. Unless he was mixed up into something, like... Mm -hmm with his company or with the bank like laundering money I, I you know the kid was he was smart and he was an accountant so I don't know you know I he he was tight lipped like he was very like a shy kid you know like he was a mathematician yeah Literally, he was a math wizard. Well, maybe we can uh, get you, maybe your daughter. We, can, you know, tomorrow you can, we can have you call in and let's try to get more really specific on times and locations and things. Okay. Because I, I need to know. I like, have the timeline. That yeah. So, made. so is the, is, does the timeline have like addresses of various car washes and things like that? You know, the banks. I and, mean, it has text message. Time and okay. um, Snapchat time, and um, it doesn't have. Uh, I mean, we could get the location. It's, that's yeah. not a problem. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, we could totally do that. Yeah, that'd be great. But um, <laughs> so, would you just type it up again, or you scan it in, or what, how would you yeah, send it? Yeah, okay. sure, sure. Uh, okay. I'll, um, I'll get on that for sure, and I'll find out. Uh, exactly the addresses. I mean, I have it. It's just I'm not prepared to talk to you right now. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even but, know how you saw that I was yeah. on. I was just ending the show. Was it? Did you see the hashtag? Because I just put that in like 30 seconds, and then all <laughs> of a sudden you shows up. You showed up, man. Uh, those hashtags must really work or something. I, I love you, dude. <laughs> like I've been listening to you for a long time, oh. and um, I. You know, the thing is, is it's hitting home now. So I need answers. Oh, so you've actually listened it's to my show before randomly. Huh. I'm yeah. sorry, what? You've actually listened to my show before just randomly. I mean, yes, huh. absolutely. I'm a subscriber. <laughs> That's like, weird. I have listened to you. I actually had a girlfriend that was murdered in um, like 91. Mm -hmm. 1991 but you know it's okay you know yeah. we, man sorry you're going through it's, all this. it's part of houston man we live in houston it's it's a crazy town wow so well let's uh maybe we can yeah. plan i'll give you a call and i think this i have the number let me just see if it's right here i don't know if it worked mm -hmm. 281 uh oh yeah there it is right there yeah so I see it right there. So I, maybe I'll give you a call tomorrow and we can set something up, but um, try to get the timeline over so I can get everything all set up on a map and we can go over it again. I will. I'm going to email you right oh. now. All right. I well, have well check the, the chat and verify that because I'm going to type in right now my email address again. 
And I want to make mm -hmm. sure that you got the right one. I know you wrote it down, but sometimes it's hard, you know, when I say H-U-Z-E, they're like, what is it, you know, they might type yeah. it. And so. his mom has actually hired a private investigator. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, already. And his dad is from Colombia. Like, he's part black and part Colombian. I'm, like, mm. just... I mean, I don't know. My mind is everywhere. <laughs> no, I could imagine. Yeah. I could imagine. I could imagine. But, uh, yeah, send me that email, and let's... Uh, Let's talk tomorrow, and I'm really sorry you're having to go through this. It must be an absolute nightmare. So. It is. Thank you, honey. God bless you. I appreciate everything that you do. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you for talking to me and taking the time to okay. talk to me. All right. Well, try to get some sleep, and we'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Wow, that was, that was crazy. Just randomly, right at the end of the show, right there. So then we have to get a hold of her, get the timeline set up. I hope they get some answers here. But you could de definitely had a little bit more of a nefarious tone of what was going on near the end. I mean, just the, the whole scenario there. I mean, you could make an argument for uh, something planned, too, but it doesn't sound like it. Why would you buy a Christmas tree, uh, the various things like that? You get what I'm saying? That doesn't make any sense. So what I'm going to probably do is... Like, I don't, know, I don't know if I'll do it tonight or later, but now I have to, I'm going to edit out this part and make a standalone video of just this portion, and then we'll continue on tomorrow. Yeah, it's weird, too, on that bank. Uh, you guys probably saw what I was looking at on the screen. There doesn't seem to be any cameras around on this side right here. I'm not sure why you wouldn't put a, a camera every five feet around a bank, you know? Like, that's what I would do. All right, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. Um, I think we're going to end the show now. Um, I'll see if I can get that timeline. And, um, you know, Alicia, hang in there. And thank you for calling in to let us know what's going on. Uh, it sounds like it's really tough, and I, I can see why. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll definitely start uh, looking more into this one. Pretty crazy. I guess we save the last case, uh, you know, the last case to the end, and it oddly worked out where we could actually have a caller call in the mother of the girlfriend of the missing person, Alicia. All right, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And as I always say, until next time, be safe out there. And I'm going to... I'll just play the rap again. <laughs> All right, see you. Yeah, I've been doing this true crime thing for quite a while now. And during this whole time, I have not seen one person that is a crime dissector, flag rejector. I'm a certified human lie detector. Gonna get ya on a stretcher if you try and play me like an old projector. Crime sector is my nectar. Professor Gray is gonna give another lecture. Crime collector, freak connector, and I'm always gonna be a pup protector. Fool the flicker, interceptor, and I'll meet you when I was back down my back On his pector with Wow, what the heck was that, Mary Lou? Just remember I got to a fucking check. Mary Lou sounded like she was, had a couple, a couple drinks. I'm the pretender. And I'll serve it to you straight without the blender. And in the end, uh, yeah. I'm gonna send ya on a mission to reveal the true offender. <laughs> Look at Lee D. Yikes. Yeah, so I'll just get right back to work. All right, everybody. Oh, okay. All right, you guys. See you guys later. Yeah, I'll, I'll let uh, Mary Lou know that, LM.